Welcome to the lesson that will demonstrate how to take two or more objects, in this case it's going to be animals, and you're going to merge them together to make them look as realistic as possible. Here's some examples that were done in my 8th grade Photoshop class. So I'm going to go ahead and close this out now that you know what you're going to be creating. And we're going to actually go to a site called Geek Philosopher to get images for this project. Geek Philosopher is a copyright friendly source that will allow you to use their images for educational purposes. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click on birds. I'm actually going to grab a bunch of animals that I'm going to want to bring into the image editor to explore. So I'm going to go ahead and click on eagles here. And these are wonderful, fabulous images. And let's say, for example, I want to use this eagle here. What you want to do is you want to read through the terms of use and click on Agree. When that download button pops up, click on it and you're going to go ahead and save it in a safe location on your computer. For now, I am going to go ahead and grab a bunch of images and I'll be right back. If you notice in Geek Philosopher, you can expand these windows, you can choose the animals category, expand the African and so forth, so you can see how many possible options there are when you're looking for creatures to do this unit. Another copyright friendly source that you could use is called Pix for Learning. So if you Google Pix with the number 4 learning, you can get to the site. You can type in the search what you're looking for and you can use these images if they're for educational purposes. So that's another site that you can explore. If you use Flickr, you can go, I'm going to go ahead, I'm looking for a white, a white cat. So I'm going to go to Flickr.com and type in white cat. And I'll hit the enter key when I, after I typing in the search. Make sure you go to advanced search, scroll down, and where it says only search within Creative Commons, click on that and then choose find content to modify, adapt, or build upon. If you choose that, you should be able to use those images for educational purposes. So I'm going to go ahead and look for a, a white cat that I could use for this project. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this cat image. And when this pops up, um, you can right click and you can see what the terms of use are. It's saying that you can't use it if you're going to use it for profit. And let's go look at that sum rights reserved. It has the attribution symbol, which is basically saying you need to give credit to the artist. So I'll go ahead and go back. And I'm going to right click and I'm going to say that I want the medium size. And then I'll be able to right click and save picture as. And I'll go ahead and get it into that folder that I established earlier. In this case, I called it Photoshop Animals and I'll call it Cat. The fun can now begin. Now look at all these different animals that I got for the project. I'm thinking that the white cat might go good with bird 8, which is the owl with the white face. That's a possibility. I could also take the white owl's face and put it on the white sheep. You want to pick animals that are close as possible in color. Another possibility is I could take, I could take the head of the eagle and put it on the bird 4, the condor. That's a possibility. So it's just a matter of getting into the software and really playing with it. So what you want to do is go ahead and search for PIXLR on the internet and choose Open Photo Editor when that window loads. In this case, we're going to say Open Image from Computer and we're going to go ahead and go to that folder where those images are. I'll go ahead and explore. I'm going to go ahead and try the cat. Hold down the Control key to open up both images. We can now begin. Now. If I wanted to put the cat's head on the owl's body, I would have to definitely resize the owl first. Because what's going to happen is, if I take the, owl, the cat's head, copy it, and then paste it on the owl, I'm going to have to make the cat's head larger. When you do that, you lose quality. So it depends how you're going to do it. If I'm going to put the owl's head, all I need to do is come to the owl, and I'm going to come over to the Tools window, and I'm going to use the Lasso tool. When I click on the lasso tool, it looks like a lasso like a cowboy. I'm going to make sure the feather says zero. And there's a couple ways you can get this owl. Now if I just wanted to come in here and make a selection, and just make a selection as best as possible, and it's okay if you make mistakes, I'm going to select just the face like that. I don't know if you can see the selection, but with that you say edit, copy. Now I'll click on the cat layer and choose edit, paste. So I can use the move tool. Now what I want to do is do Control T 
and I want to drag this towards the center so I'll click down and drag if you hold down the shift key it will constrain proportions so let's do this and when you're happy with it you can click on the enter key of your keyboard if you wanted to flip this face horizontally so it was flipped the other direction make sure that you're on the correct layer in this case it's layer one and you're going to go to layer at the top and you're going to choose flip layer horizontal let's try that again layer flip layer horizontal and that flips it now that really doesn't look that great if it looked great you would then take the eraser tool and come in and start cleaning it up around the edges to make it look as realistic as possible now I'm going all the way up again so it blends in you could right click and get a large brush a small brush etc you could also come up to the top to change your brushes Now notice the feathery edges I want it to be feathery so I'm going to try 200 now if you if you see how big that is that's too big so I'll try 70 and that's a good size and now if I want to zoom in click on the zoom tool and go ahead and start zooming in so you can see what's going on so after zooming in you can hold down the spacebar and move the, doc, the um, image around if you need to I'm going to return back to the eraser tool and if it's too big you can always come back up here and change the size so we'll try 30 and I'll go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and just work it a little I'm gonna I just want to keep the eyes and the beak of the owl and I'm gonna go ahead and clean this up and be right back with you to see if it's gonna look decent so I decided I'm gonna go ahead and clean up most of the white owl and I'm gonna leave just the eyes and we'll experiment the thing is you really want to come in and experiment so I could just clean up everything except for the eyes like this so while still on that layer of the owl I'm going to go to adjustments and I'm going to choose color balance because I don't know if you can tell that the color really doesn't match the color of the white cat so this is where you can come in and, and, and experiment until it blends a little better and I'm thinking that is actually blending pretty well then you would say okay I'm going to choose view actual pixels so you can see what the final product looks like not one of my better works but it works when you're ready to save it you choose file save when this pops up go ahead I'm gonna call it cat owl I'm gonna make sure it's a JPEG because the rule of thumb is for photographs you save as a JPEG for quality you can bring it up to 100% if you want and say OK and then go ahead and I'll save it in that folder and we're now done with doing one image for this project until next time you have a fabulous day